Hey guys, welcome to the Prada seance that I am holding in my bedroom. <laughs> All jokes aside, I decided to make this video because I had such a hard time picking out the right size for this specific shoe. I've been eyeing these loafers since last winter fall and I probably ordered two pairs last year and I never got the sizing right and they were constantly out of stock. So it was a tax holiday in my state a couple weeks ago. So I decided to take advantage of the opportunity and just order several pairs from whatever sources I could find and then show you guys how these shoes compare. So from the left to right, you have this pair in size 37 from the Bergdorf website, 37 from Prada website, and 37 and a half from the Prada website. And I will say the Prada website is very well stocked. When I looked a couple weeks ago, I used to think that Prada only carried the brown and maroon colored ones, but I was able to find the black ones, which I was super happy about. And I think you can kind of tell that the pairs that came from Bergdorf look slightly different. It's a lot more patenty looking. The leather is much more shinier if you compare just how the light is reflecting off of the top of the shoes here. And I think in general, there's not a huge discrepancy in sizing, although I do think the Bergdorf pair is a little smaller or tighter compared to the one that Prada sent. I'm wondering if it's because maybe this pair came from the last season and this is the latest iteration of their logo loafers. I try to kind of put them on the same line here to show you how little the difference is between the half sizes. And I think 37 and a half gives me a little bit more room behind my heel, which I don't find too comfortable. If I'm walking in them, I feel like the shoe is slipping off of my feet. So I'll probably keep one of these two pairs. And other than the shininess, I also think the shape of the toe box has changed. The Bergdorf pair is slightly wider and looks more rounder than the ones that came from Prada. But I don't really feel that when I put the shoes on. I think maybe it's just an updated version of the pair they shipped out last year or wh whichever season this pair is from on the left. The other thing that I would be careful for is just be for anyone looking for these shoes, you definitely want to make sure that the logo is not sewn on crooked. I ordered two pairs of these shoes last fall and the pair that was the right size definitely had a crooked logo and at the time the shoes retailed for about $950. I didn't want to pay $950 for something that's not perfect. So I returned those even though they were the last pair that I could find in that size. So I'm really glad to be able to get these on um, my hands this year. I'm excited to wear them out. I think they're super versatile for all the different outfits and it kind of like gives you an elevated look without trying too hard or having to think too hard. So I really love that. Just wanted to show you how it looks up close. I think the craftsmanship is just beautiful on these. It's very beautifully made. And it's so, it's crazy how simple it is, but it holds so much structure. And it's just so cute. I think maybe it's because I've been seeing them everywhere, but I just can't get over how cute these shoes look. And with that, I am officially out of things to say. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this is helpful and I hope you get to get your hands on one of these pairs of loafers because I think they're absolutely stunning.